What's up guys? I shot this video a couple months ago trying to help people who are having problems linking the free lead generation funnel that I created in Google Sites about a year ago and showed everyone how to do, uh, how to link that to a Zapier integration that automatically sends out an email for you. Uh, some people have had some problems with that and so I wanted to address that in a video. Well, a couple months after I actually created the video, now I'm finally trying to actually put it out, but I've noticed a couple problems inside of the video. One is that I spent about the first four minutes of this video re kind of rehashing what I went over in the other video so if you've already watched the video for how to uh, build a free funnel in Google Sites which is a lead generation funnel not a sales funnel um, if you've already watched that video and you know how to do all that and you just need to know how to link that to your Zapier integration go ahead and skip over the first like five minutes or so and you should be uh, you know, be able to skip a little bit of me talking about how to build the actual funnel itself, how to put the, the Google form into your Google site and all of that. So um, that's uh, thing number one. And then the, uh, the other thing is, uh, Pardon my lack of enthusiasm in this video. I'm, I'm rewatching it now a couple months later, and it's just like uh, I feel like it's the most boring thing, but I guess it's really technical, so that makes sense. So anyway, I, ho I hope you uh, enjoy this. I hope it's useful for you because I know it's not going to be the most exciting video you ever watch on YouTube. So uh, with, with that being said, uh, enjoy the video. See ya. One of the things that I've been asked about uh, a lot over the last year since I made the video about making a free funnel in Google Sites is how to actually link the Zapier to uh, automatically send out an email for you. So I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So I've filled out a brand new Google Sites basic funnel that uh, looks like this. Uh, it is just going to be a very basic uh, headline. This is not anything anyone would ever really fill out. But what we're going to do is real quick, I'm going to show you how to place the button. Click here to sign up. And then our link, uh, which is going to be the link for this Google form that is going to be what they need to fill out. And then hit insert. Now, alternatively, what we can do is we can just put the Google Form itself right here. Just go and insert it. And there it is. So you don't have to do the button pop-up version. You can just do it embedded right in the site. Uh, that might work out a little bit better for you, actually. So however you choose to do it, once they put in their email address here uh, and their first name here, then it should automatically go into your sheet that you've set up when you set up the form. So when you set up, set up the form, you set it to uh, collect email addresses. You want to probably type in first name, and then um, you want to make sure that you you name your your form and that you have it set up so it says email address and first name. That's important that the columns are named because when you go to do your zap it's going to want those to be labeled correctly. So real quick, I'll fill this out with my, okay, so now we will put our form in here, publish it, publish. And we're going to look at the published site. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. Um, I have an email address on my form. Now normally what we'd want to do is we'd want to have a link here that goes to a thank you page or that goes to our affiliate offer. So you can set that up right inside of the form. You'll go to the settings, go to uh, presentation, and go to conf confirmation message. You'll put your link in there. You'll have it go directly to the link that you want them to go to. Or you, you can just say look out for your uh, email in the email box to, to get your link. Once that happens, they're going to get an email because we're going to set it up in Zap. We're going to set up a Zap to make that happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to make a Zap. After you get your Zapier all set up, which is pretty simple to do, just go to Zapier.com and install. You might want to install the the Zap extension on your Chrome browser, but sign up 
you get five free zaps so you don't have to pay for anything still and the other thing you need to do is you need to sign up for MailChimp or some other um, uh, autoresponder or something that's going to be able to send out uh, email campaigns for you. So MailChimp does a thousand emails free. So up to a thousand me- uh, emails on an email list for free, I believe, if I, if I, don't, if I didn't misunderstand that. So you can get a good start on your mail list with MailChimp. There are a lot of other options, and I've had I've heard really great things about Get Response and Active Campaign, but this is just what I'm using for now. It's a one option. We'll go up here to Make a Zap, and what we're going to do is we're going to choose the app Google Sheets. We're going to choose Trigger Event New Spreadsheet Row. We're going to hit Continue. And what that's going to do is whenever a new spreadsheet row is created here, when it's got our email address and name from our respondent, it should automatically trigger this zap to, to, to go. Now, how does it know which one? Well, you have to sign in. Uh, so you'll have to do that too. You have to sign your Zapier account in with your Google account so it knows where to access the Google Sheets. So uh, then you'll it will automatically be able to find all of the Google Sheets in your Google Drive account. You'll select the correct one and then hopefully select the correct worksheet, which there you can have several worksheets on each Google Sheet spreadsheet. Okay, and hit continue. So I named mine my spreadsheet uh, Zep Funnel File since this is a just a test f- uh, spreadsheet to, for the purposes of this video. So we're going to find this data, hit test and review. So we want to make sure that we are finding the correct data. Now see, it finds this data. So we should be able to do this. So now when this happens, the spreadsheet row is created, we want to do this. And what is that? That's add that person to our email list, our, our audience on MailChimp and automatically send out an email. So how do we do that? Uh, select MailChimp as your app and you'll have to sign yourself in. I have already done that so uh, just follow the prompts when that comes up. Um, so what we're, we want to do is add or update a subscriber. So when somebody when somebody signs up to our Google Site Funnel types in their email address on the form, it automatically will be entered on our Google Sites uh, or Google Sheet. Then Zapier is automatically going to pull the information from that new row on our Google Sheet and send it as an email subscriber to MailChimp. Now, MailChimp, we need to make sure that we sign into our MailChimp account. There we go. Our audience, which you'll set that up in your uh, MailChimp account is not at all difficult to do. And then we're going to select this from e- our email address from that row that we just tested on our previous step. So now we have that set, it, set up. We want, I want to do a double opt-in. You don't have to, but you can. So a double opt-in is going to help you with email del- deliverability. People are only going to be getting your emails if they opt in, and that's going to help. So you can do that or not. Um, it basically means there's an extra step in between when you send uh, their, the email that you're going to send to them with the uh, information or lead magnet or whatever. It's going to add an extra step where they have to select yes that they do want to receive emails from you. So I think that's a good thing to do. So um, we'll select yes. And we can do update existing. Uh, all this, you know, you can kind of play around with it. I'm, I'm actually really not that that familiar with it. It's it's not really that important for our purposes in this video. So now we have our new subscriber. So we can test that out. Test and review. 
It should, and it should tell us a test subscriber that was sent to MailChimp. And we know that that works. So Zap is ready. Now turn it on. And we can just turn it on. And then boom. Now you can send this to a friend to test. You can say, hey, go to this site and put in your email address. I want to test this, this out and make sure that my, my integration is working. You should be receiving an email soon. And you know, if you already put yours in, then you can see if that actually went in or not uh, over in your uh, audience, which it's probably not going to show up super fast. It doesn't show up like immediately. It takes a, it takes a little bit. So if I do a retest, I think it's going to tell me that I already have that information on there. Uh, it's not going to show up in mine because I already uh, had myself as a subscriber uh, or as a contact and then I unsubscribed myself from my list. So I'm actually in there, but it's not resubscribing me. Um, so that might be a, a different video to make, how to get somebody resubscribed to your email list. But in the first place, you need to worry about getting them subscribed to your email list. And hopefully I've shown you how to do that. So. Uh, it's it's really not that difficult. You just kind of follow the steps in the in the Zapier integration. Once that Zap is on, whenever somebody creates a new uh, a new row here and they put in uh, an email address, then you should be a, be able to send them new emails. Okay, guys. I know this is a quick cut away from whatever was just happening over there, but uh, it's. A couple months later since I filmed that video and I just thought I'd try to wrap everything up as quickly as I possibly could for you so uh, everything on there actually worked but uh, I kind of was messing around with it for a little bit after that trying to uh, make it show up so you could see it come through um, but if you just follow those steps that are in the video make sure that people are going to your form on your web page putting in their email address or whatever uh, their email address and their and their first name and that should, of course, update your Google Sheet. So that's the first thing you need to make sure that is, is working. As long as that's working, uh, then you connect it as shown to the Zapier integration. It should automatically populate their email address into a new list for you and or into your email list in, um, in whatever uh, email autoresponder you're using. And once that happens, as long as you set it up correctly in your email autoresponder, it should automatically send them some kind of welcome email or some kind of confirmation email for what they have clicked on. So it's up to you to kind of play around with it a little bit because maybe you want to send them an email that gives them a confirmation, like a double opt-in kind of thing, which I talked about a little bit in the video, or maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you just want to immediately send them uh, the thing. I wouldn't recommend that, but it, you know, it's up to you to play around with a little bit. If you have any questions for me about this video, if you want to see how to maybe uh, create these lists inside of Get Response and Active Campaign and, and MailChimp and all of those other um, different autoresponders, I will do my best to go and learn how to do that and make those videos for you. But for the time being, this this video has been way too long in the making and I want to just kind of finish it today and put it out there so that uh, hopefully it can help people to get this done inside of this really cool app called Zapier. So um, I encourage you to use it and play around with it and I hope that you guys this will help you guys to do what you need to do. And as I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Please be sure to hit subscribe. Uh, help me out. Uh, the more su subscribers I get to, to my channel, the you know the more motivated I am to do these videos. And um, hopefully, I can help you out. So that's it. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. Please leave a like. Please hit subscribe. And I will uh, be seeing you in, in the future, or you'll be you'll be seeing me hopefully. Okay. Peace. See you. One more thing, uh, be sure to check out these other videos that I've made right here and right here. And um, let me know what you think of those videos as well.